Okay. Hello, hello. How is everybody? Hope you are all well. Uh, just comms check, make sure you can hear me, and then we'll get going. Thank you, Holly. And Grams of All Trade, Josie Ray, thank you. And uh, Elsie Patch and Kaylee and loads and loads of others. Okay, good. Thank you so much, everyone. So today is Wednesday, the 9th of November. Normally, obviously, uh, with all of the changes, things uh, have moved differently now for new scheduling, which I think is uh, excellent. Uh, how we've got this new schedule going at the moment is going to obviously give a lot of continuity to a lot of people knowing exactly where they have to be at what time in the day to get the information and where to go for it, which is fantastic. So before I get into the updates uh, from last night's webinar, a uh, couple of things for you. First off then is Wednesday. That means new website day. And if you haven't checked it out already, uh, go and have a look. It really is uh, a cool purple. You know, uh, very, very cool today. Liked it a lot. Lots of different purples in there and uh, all of the different design as normal. Uh, so go and check that out. And also Link91 is in your back office ready and waiting for you as well. Uh, remember what Ash said last night. He said that there might be a few changes in the frequency of the websites coming out now as we do this transition so if it doesn't come out on the day that you expect it, don't fret, don't worry. Uh, it's all under control, guys. Uh, you have been pre-warned about it. So don't worry about it if it doesn't come on the day expected. Uh, also, uh, straight after this, at the top of the hour, in one hour's time, we have the leaders who are coming on at midday, uh, which is 5 p.m. for UK, 6 over there in Europe. And I believe that's going to be 9.30 <coughs> for guys in India. Uh, this is the leaders discussion recap to go over the uh, webinar, which we had last night. Now, the link for that is very simple. It's going out to the top dot live. Okay. The top dot live. If one of you nice people can put that in the chat. So everyone knows the top dot live. That's where it's going to be. So it's going to be on all of the main YouTube channels and you can view it all from there. OK, guys. So that's where it is going to be. So without further ado, let's get on to the uh, webinar at uh, 10.30 in India. There you go. Thank you, Casey. That's very kind of you. Uh, with all these clocks changing over the weekend, I've kind of lost uh, what's going on. So, um I was very surprised, first of all, to see Ash this week. I do know how busy he is. Uh, obviously, like I said yesterday on my live, having to bring all of these moving parts together, ready for the imminent launch that's coming up uh, 11 days time now. Uh, then there is an awful lot of work, guys, to be done and to take him away from that work schedule that he has imposed on himself. Uh, really was great to see him. And boy, he didn't disappoint, did he? You know, um, even, <laughs> even though I wasn't expecting to see him, we got absolutely bombarded, didn't we, with information. But did you notice how relaxed he looked? You know, he was there, uh, open collared, sitting back. He could not stop smiling the whole way through it. You know, he had this big grin on his face the whole time he was on with us. And uh, it was really good uh, to see him in this relaxed state. It really was. Um, you know, he ha he knows exactly what is going on. And you, if you are a body language expert or you read people, you know, you can sort of pick up a little bit of he knows, doesn't he? He knows exactly what's happening, exactly the impact, what is going to be going on. And this is why I believe he is relaxed, smiling, really happy with how things are because he sees so much more than we do. So he came on, 
and he said, my name is Ash Mufara, and I am your friend. Many years ago, he said, I had a wild dream, and I've upgraded it several times along the journey, along with us as well. How many times have you upgraded your dreams uh, on this on passive journey? We are now very close to sharing this manifestation of these dreams. Today, just today, I had to upgrade my dreams Again, he said, not from my own capacity. Why? Because of what people are doing around us. We have amazing talent and more still flocking to us. Do not blink, guys. It is keeping coming time and time again. And Marty touched on this as well earlier on. And Ash has said it. We are now becoming the hunted as far as people wanting to join on Passive as an employee of the company. Why? Because they want to get involved with what is happening in on passive they want to be part of the next giant in the internet so people now have turned turtle rather than us trying to grab people they are actually coming to the company now wanting to work with us and especially more than ever if you've been keeping up to date with the news around the world with what's happening with twitter facebook and instagram well there is going to be a plethora of very talented people wanting uh, to work for On Passive very, very shortly, isn't there indeed? So he went on to say, today we are leading by example, and so we are going to show you the efficiency of the new schedule. We've gone through it now. We are very hoping that we can get it all uh, done professionally by the Omedia team to put in the updates so you know exactly where it is. We've sent this off to Ash for the OK and as soon as that's ready, you'll be able to see that in the update section. We care about your thoughts and opinions. It's not a dictatorship. What we want is for you to shine. We want new people to be here. We are building a business with the flavour of this wide spectrum of many, many people all having a say. And this is so cool and so good to see where every single founder has an opportunity if they want to 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 come on say something or even host one of these scheduled webinars that we have he thanked janet butler rafael saint germain chris johnson and marty de garmo for hosting uh, the first uh, information uh, webinar that we had on monday night and as you know well know now these are going on on a regular basis uh, all the way through the week we are setting records across all humanities and dr sahar will be here shortly to share some of the updates with us. It's such a joy to watch her work, giving her updates in such a professional manner, he said. He said, we just finished uh, the Omail feature to record and send a video. And he went into depths about how this is going to work and what it is going to do. But all I can say is absolutely amazing. So if you are a person who doesn't want to type a uh, email to somebody you just click a button the video pops up you do the video you press another button bang it goes off you don't have to render it you don't have to change it uh who's that that's satya thank you so much for your super sticker my friend that's very kind talking to satya he's just done another blog video that's on this channel go and check it out so well one click of a button get it sent you don't have to put it onto a file you don't have to render it you don't have to download it separately to view it or anything like that do the video send it off the other person opens it watches it how cool is that and that's just another feature of omail it's simple to use and it's, this should be completed and tested by the end of this week he said so tune into your back office this was the name of the game this is part of the process of what we are going to be doing uh, it's looking very likely that there's no not going to be any more emails being sent out now from what was said last night. The only way of knowing what is going on is to log into your back office. This is where the information is going to be. This is where the links and where everything is going to be told. No more emails. Log in to your back office on a daily basis. You are not going to uh, get left behind. Uh, so he said, 
when it comes time, you log into your back office, there's going to be description, going to be told what to do. So it's not going to be on an app or Facebook or external platforms for you to uh, know about this. The only way is to be in your o back o um, your GoFounders back office. Then you will find how to transition to the new OBS, which is the on passive uh, business solution, the on passive dashboard. The information will be there. And at that time, you will no longer need to go to O Founders. It's very, very simple, guys. He's taken away so much of the stress of what a lot of founders, okay, thought about, namely EKYC, okay? As a founder, you do not have to do that at this initial stage. That is to enter the new on passive dashboard, okay? He's taken that away. All you have to do is to log in with a O mail, okay, a, uh, a O mail address, and the rest is pretty simple. If you haven't got one now, don't worry, okay? It's not essential. You'll be told when to do it. I know a lot of people now are panicking, trying to set up a O mail account within the O founders back office, and it's circling and circling and circling and it is not doing anything again don't worry guys okay when we are told if you haven't set one up already it will direct you where to set one up for those people who say can i change it i don't like the one i've got whatever bloody blah, blah again don't worry about it guys this is all about entering the new back office okay i don't know we might be able to edit it once we're in the back office. But let's just stay with the now. Let's understand what we need to know by the directions we are given by corporate on passive. Very simple. Chill, relax, don't worry. Just go through the process. And this is what we are in now. We are in the process, the process of moving from O founders over to the new back office. If you have already got an O-mail, it is easy peasy, guys. All you do is enter your new the O-mail uh, account address that you already have, and then you will enter the existing uh, password that you already have, and that's it. Bang, you're in. Not a problem at all. So don't worry about it, okay? Make sure that you do that from the back office. OK, when the time has come. So he said, if you already have an email account created by O founders, you're already done. Don't have to do anything more. You will log in with that O mail and your current password and you are there. Uh, Colonel Lee, thank you for your super sticker, sir. It's very kind of you. From there, you will be guided to do a recovery email. Now, this will be recommended uh, that it's probably it'll be a external email, a Gmail or whatever you have now. OK, and you'll also be uh, asked to nominate a secondary contact person. And this is going to be for beneficiaries uh, purposes or anything that happens to you or anything like this. OK, so that the company will know more or be able to help you more. Uh, who's that? It's just something a super sticker. Deborah Shaw. Thank you so much for your super sticker. So just to recap the process, when the time comes, you will see in your back office, O oh founders, that you will have to migrate over to the on passive dashboard. If you've already got an O mail account, you put the credentials in and then you are there. If you haven't already got an O mail account, you will be prompted to set one up. And then you are in the new dashboard, the on passive dashboard. Once you're in the on passive dashboard, you will then be prompted to uh, put in a recovery email and also nominate a beneficiary. David Moore, thank you for your super sticker. OK, that is you done. OK, this will have to be done for every account. OK. I'm going to say that again so everybody understands. 
every account will have to go through this process at the beginning. OK, this is why the KYC has been taken away so that we can verify every single account is a bona fide person. Once they have been verified and you have accessed the uh, OBS, then you'll be able to amalgamate count, uh, accounts, etc. But right at the beginning, this stage, every single account has to go through this process. OK, everyone understand just so that you know what is going on every account. So that will be uh, what will happen then. There will be a time period of this. Uh, we will also from our end contact your secondary person if we need to see and if we need to. So, for instance, if we don't see any activity on your account for a period of time, whatever that is decided, then they will contact that secondary person uh, to see if there's anything, any problem with you as a founder. If you do not have an OML yet, we will freeze the back office and you will then have to create a new one, as I've just said, to be able to enter. Uh, again, remember, as we've already done on our accounts now, Brenda, who's that? That is Brenda Westenberg or Westerberg even. Thank you so much for your super sticker. It's very kind of you. Remember, as we've already done now uh, with uh, o founders and the products that are there that we've been beta testing, you have to sign a user agreement. OK. Also, we will have to complete an NDA. OK. For confidentiality terms and agreements. So there's going to be a lot of paperwork that we'll have to go through. OK. There's going to be a lot of boxes we will have to tick, etc. This is expected, guys. OK. Don't worry. Take your time and relax. OK. No one's going to get left behind. There's going to be an ample time period for all of this to happen. OK. So just chill. For those who have dodgy internet or they have power cuts or whatever it may be, again, just relax, guys. Nothing's bad's going to happen. Everyone will have a good period of time to be able to go through this process. And then once we're in the OBS, that's us done. OK, we won't be going into the uh, O founders the way we do now at all ever again. It will always be through the new OBS. OK. Uh, on passive is also and the products of on passives are now uh, becoming trademarked and copywritten. And if violated, we will have to address you for violating the terms and conditions of what you have signed. So please respect and do not abuse our brand. OK, obviously, more information about this will be coming out. Uh, but we kind of know already, guys, about what we are allowed to use and what we're not allowed to use, etc. OK, so just adhere to the rules. OK, because it is for your benefit at the end of the day that these uh, trademarks and copyrights are there. It protects the company and it also protects you. But if you do abuse those, then you uh, the legal department of on passive will certainly be on your back. We are in, uh, you also said we are in, antip in, in anticipation of going into the global launch and we already started. Uh, stated uh, we have a few products that are already done. Some are going to be free and a couple are going to be paid, which we all know about already. The founders are always the first people to enter, OK, the back office and to use the products. So we will enter, sign, uh, uh, sign up for these products and services, like I said. And this will happen for all future products as well, guys. The founder is always going to be the first to get a hold of them and use them. Cynthia Jackson, thank you so much for rejoining the. Uh, thank you so much for rejoining the uh, Tea Club. Very kind of you. Um, so all new customers after that, okay, and stroke resellers, they will then have to come through founders. But we knew that already anyway. Uh, I'm going to go into about the company uh, promotions and stuff as well now. That's coming up. 
So, so to secure the use of the initial products, you have to sign the agreements and you have to either buy the product first to get that referral link for it. Remember, Ash has said from day one that you can only uh, benefit from a product from a reseller's point of view if you own that product. That means if it's free, you've activated it. If it is paid, you have paid for it. OK, so if you don't have it, you can't sell it, basically. He also said that the company will be promoting very at the beginning the founders. These initial campaigns are through are for the founders exclusively. That marketing campaigns will promote the founders until the customers and resellers come into the system. We've already been told of the three stages that's happening in the World Cup. And obviously, the first stage is all about exposure of the company and what we do then it's the free products and there is the paid products after that these first campaigns are exclusive guys to the founders again another massive reason to be a founder because that initial stage we are we are anticipating a very big surge of people coming into on passive and they are only going to come into on passive one way and that is through uh, the founders. So communicate communication is only coming through the back office. As, as I said, we do not have guess or anything like that. That is where you are going to get your information. We will guide you through the messaging, the messages that we've got there. OK, so don't get ahead of yourselves. I'm already getting messages from all sorts of people, either on uh, Messenger or in emails saying, what about this? Uh, how am I going to do this and all the rest of it? I keep saying the same things and I'm trying to say it the nicest possible terms to everybody. Don't worry. OK, there's no point in reaching out to any leader, asking questions about things we don't know and things we don't need to know. Everything is done. Everything is on schedule. You will be told every step of the way what needs to happen. And most of this process that we are going through now will actually answer your questions. OK, just relax and you'll be fine. Uh, so, as I said, don't get ahead of yourselves. The EKYC, it confused a lot of people and all the rest of it. That's getting scrapped. So we, the Ashmi Farah certainly doesn't want to hear any more about it publicly or anywhere else. It's done, dusted. We are now doing it differently. He said, relax, take a breath. And he, we are not giving you any KYCs uh, at the moment. Why? Because there's no money there, guys, at the moment. When it's time for the money part, then we will have to do some KYC. But at the moment, chill. Nothing needs to be done. And then we saw her. Dr. Saha. She came on. What a front lady she is for us. She is amazing. Um, exactly what we need to have in on passive as a media uh, executive that is going to be the face of on passive as far as that is concerned, not only from us, for us as founders to give us the information that we need, but she's also going to be doing it for externally as well for the media. Uh, and the rest of it as well. Uh, very confident, intelligent, looks the part, uh, talks extremely well, very knowledgeable, uh, exactly what we need. No, it needs. She came on smiling, full of bits. And ambassadors, I hope all is well with you. And then she explained a little bit about what the meaning of the brand ambassador is. So she said, and a brand ambassador is a very important name. Not only do we need to understand what we are, but we also need to walk the walk as a brand ambassador. And part of this is thinking about what you are saying, especially on public forums like this or anywhere else as well. So think a thousand times over before you actually open your mouth to say anything. If someone that embodies the company. It's somebody that embodies the company's ethics. Remember, guys, communication is an art. 
Some people are better at it than the others are as well. It's the old, old saying, isn't it? If you've got nothing good to say, don't say anything at all. And this is really part of what she was trying to portray there is there is no point in saying anything negative. There's no point in saying anything that is going to disrespect the company. We are all about positivity. We are all about talking in a positive manner about the business, our business and on passive. Every word that you say must have value and weight. She said, if you tell someone you are not that ugly, then you're confirming that they are ugly, aren't they? So it's better not to say anything at all because all you're doing is highlighting something that doesn't need to be highlighted. This goes on to what she was uh, alluding to and saying about some of the things that are out there on social media and all of the other bits and pieces. Sometimes it's better to say nothing about them at all. As they say, proof is in the pudding. We are 11 days away from that proof. Don't waste your time. Do not waste your energy or your time, okay, in talking or trying to convince or saying anything about all of the naysayers, negativity that is around. He said, remember, we can't fix the world and we're not dealing with the rumours that we are hearing. What we can do is be positive. We can be vivid and clear and transparent about who we are. We are communication. We are one communication, okay, coming from the back office. All of us together, one family, one voice. That is exactly what we should be doing here, not mucking around, spending time on negativity. It's not, uh, it's not constructive. It doesn't do any good and it actually makes you feel pretty rubbish as well. So I only speak in the high uh, in the uh, highest of terms about very good things. So speak about the products, the services, what on passive is going to do for things in the future. This is the terminology that we want to be using, not talking about uh, or not talking about what we are not talk about what we are going to be, what we are, okay? There's no point in going back over something to try and convince people of something else. Pay it no mind, move on. That is what we need to do. We have to be have no malfunctions or problems. Everything is absolutely correct and working as it should be. The duty of a brand ambassador is a walk in the wall, vision, focus. Uh, we actually want to be the best of the best. And we must speak all speak the Unpassivian language, she said, progressively across the globe. Speak about the products in a positive fashion. And if you're unsure, don't say anything at all. Don't engage. OK, it's far better. Uh, some, as they say, you say it best when you say nothing at all. OK, so sometimes it is better to say nothing at all. So there's lots of happening in the background, she said. She said she's preparing the presentations for things that are unpredictable. She was skirting around a lot of things that she knows are happening to try and give us an update of where things are going without actually spilling the beans of what is happening at the moment. She also said, I'd like to thank the O Media team, especially Mohammed Kamal, Ashmur Farah, and the Hyderabad team uh, for what they are doing. Also, uh, she said that the Dubai team are visiting Hyderabad this coming week, I believe, uh, to finalise a few things. And also uh, the recording of that will be shared with, her, with us as well. She said, ignore ignorance, please. Don't feed it. Don't give it anything. You don't need to focus on celebrating the success that we've achieved and what is to come. You need you have attended many, many webinars and you've read many updates. We are only guys. Yesterday, she said it 12 days away. We are now only 11 days away from the opening of the curtains and revealing everything, guys, to the world. Do not try to compare our products with other products. Uh, other stuff that's out there on the marketplace, we actually have no competition. There may be similar products to what we've got, okay, but don't compare ours to them. We are 
miles away from what they are. Tell people about what we are going to do. This is really what it's all about. She said at the end of the month, we'll be saying goodbye to Zoom because we will be having O Connect. Music to my ears, that is. I think we all agree on many, many things that some of the applications, platforms that are around at the moment, okay, days are numbered for a lot of these companies. I'm not quite sure if they know what's going to be happening to them uh, when on passive hits the ground running. But I know one thing, there's going to be shockwaves around the world and the globe because of what on passive is going to be doing from day one. She said, people will always spread rumors and drama, so rise above it and excel. How do you excel? By being the best possible version of yourself. Don't get involved with pettiness. Don't get involved with negativity. Don't get involved with trying to convince people who actually can't be convinced. If you really want to know about on passive, then ask on passive brand ambassadors who are there. They will help you to the top. We are world embracers. So get ready for it. Ash actually chimed in then said, where focus goes, energy flows. We've heard that one before, haven't we? And that is a fantastic saying, focus, okay, on the right stuff, not on the wrong stuff. We are not this and we are not that. That should be removed from your mentality. We are on passiveians and that is what we are. Don't respond to this negativity, guys. Okay, it saps you and more power is that there's more power to you for not responding. Celebrate the success. Celebrate the 11 days to go for the World Cups when that curtain is going to be revealed. He then went on to talk about um, our data center, how that was going to work. One thing he did mention uh, that nobody knows about it, okay, even some of the people that are working on it don't know where it is. Uh, his initial uh, time frame has been cut by a quarter. So what he thought was going to be happening uh, in one, a year, one and a half years time, that's been cut to a quarter now. Uh, at the moment, we've got a few data centers in different locations that are working adequately for what our needs are. But when these new data center comes online, then whoo, you can look out. They're portable, OK, and they are going to be across many countries in airports, communication hubs all over the place. High security, guys, with these. So there's no point asking. There's no point in trying to find out, okay, because at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter to us where they are, uh, capacities, all etc. cetera. She, he then, she then talked about the BN Sports. It's going to be on 128 channels, and these will start revealing uh, on passive and the concept of the products. The videos of for the what we've got coming up, she said, are of supreme quality. Can't wait to see them. Ash has seen them already. And she said, everything that you will see will make you cry or even give you goosebumps. I've got goosebumps now, so I'm probably going to be crying then, to be honest. Uh, lots of created passion has gone into this, and we are living the dream and upgrading it wherever possible and you, wherever you can think you can think a little bit bigger because on passive is certainly the vehicle to get you there. It's happening and it is going to happen, whether you like it or not. Why? Because we have a do it or die attitude. He said it from day one. We are now on the cusp of realizing our dreams and the dreams of on passive. We will not stop we will be introducing product after product after product, a continual cycle. You must engage constantly to understand where we are going, guys. We, we are reiterating this an awful lot. The concept of on passive is a league of its own. It's not realistic to compare Onet to Facebook or to any other products to anything else. There's so many features in all of them that are going to blow everything else out of the water. So the world has not seen anything at this level uh, before. So get ready. The new beast is coming and it will make a massive impact. 
I'm going to finish by saying this. We are witnessing something never been done on the internet before. So how can it be compared to any other business? It can't because we are not like any other business model. We are structured differently. We have been built differently. And that is what stands us apart from anything else. Yes, this process will take time, but fast, but steady wins the race. I'd like to thank Janet Butler, Daryl Cook, Dal and Dan Street for taking the notes and being there and as well with Peter Sarur. Thanks, guys. An amazing webinar last night, packed full of information about exactly where we are now in this journey. The process has begun for us as founders. That process of transition from O founders to the new back office. Exciting times. So that's it. Thank you so much for coming on. I won't give any shout outs uh, on this one today. We are in 15 minutes or so, 20 minutes. Uh, the leaders will be talking about the webinar, chatting a bit backwards and forwards about our views on what was said, uh, where we think things are happening. Come along and find us. The top dot live is where it is. So this YouTube channel, you can stay on here if you want to or go anywhere you like. It's not a problem. But it's going to be on all of the main channels. Love to see you there, guys. And we will have a blast talking about that. That's it from me. I hope you've enjoyed the update. Remember, if you're not already a subscriber to this channel, click that subscription button below and then you'll be notified whenever I update any more information about on passive onto this channel. Catch you in 20 minutes, guys. Bye for now.